Hello, collectives. Welcome to my platform. Thank you for watching, supporting. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. I truly appreciate your support. If you are new to the channel, welcome. If you are returning, hey there, hey. Okay, I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families, always. I return to source, I return to sender. All negative energy and intent being sent to you and your families immediately and permanently. All evil plans of your enemies against you are dismantled immediately and permanently. What the enemy was stole from you is being returned to you as well. As I have said, so shall it be. Let's go ahead and find our in the name of source. For someone out there, there is a meeting going on about you to compensate you for your loss. Uh, to get it to return to you. Listen, is that the Six of Pentacles and I'm talking about compensation? Okay. You got you have to excuse me. Like I just woke up. Um so out of my <laughs> out of my antennas are now communicating like they're supposed to right now. But that that is the ten, the six of pentacles, right? Okay. <laughs> this is gonna be great. For someone out there, there is definitely a meeting going on about <laughs> your heart. <laughs> About you being compensated either for your loss or for your work. Someone stole something from you. Someone cost you something. And it's being, the wrong is being righted, basically. Okay? In my dream, I saw a group of what I would call higher ups around a very long wooden table. Um, and they were having a meeting about someone in specific um, it was almost as though they were trying to see if they were trying to make a decision on which path to take. Like if we take this path and path and we get exposed, it's going to be extremely costly. We can take this path and compensate this person, try to work with them. Um, something like that. Okay. And then I had a dream, you know, someone was trying to remind me that I was this, kind of trying to humble me and us. Kind of grateful that they were reminding me that I was this because, uh, honey, sometimes I don't pay too much attention to this. Um, I'm like too focused on work, uh, spending time with the kids and stuff like that. So I forget to kind of appreciate the fact that I'm this. So I kind of had to appreciate their effort that they were making in my dreams to remind me that I was a little black, you know, girl and this and that. But I, I was extremely grateful. I said, well, thank you. You know, I don't take the time to appreciate this about myself very much and I want to thank you for showing that but it's that they kept trying to show me a mirror or something show me my face to remind me that hey you're this and you need to remember you're this and I said thank you I sometimes forget that I'm this <laughs> but anyways you could have someone in the justice system or the uh, someone who's like a PI, a DEA, FBI, or this is just the justice system. They may have decided to do something right or fix something. Uh, and I'm not saying that in a derogatory manner. I'm saying that they're trying their best to make something right. It's like they realize that they failed you in something. And this is because of the bribery and foolishness and just a lot of sneaky and manipulative behaviors that were going on behind the scene. But someone wants to come in and compensate you for your loss. It has to do with your work. Someone, a group of people in the past may have said that you were not someone to work with or you were lazy or something like that, something of that nature. So you may have gone through some type of horrendous experience that either led to some of you being fired or you had to leave an occupation or you had to close a business down. You had to shut down a social media platform, something of that nature. Um, but they are realizing that they really let you down and they're coming in to fix that. So you may be getting some type of either message in, in the form of a letter, email, phone call, text message, or this person may be coming in person. They are absolutely heartbroken about the experience that you went through. Someone thought they were doing the right thing in the past, 
by either partnering up with a person or a group of people and it is really breaking their heart right is there some yeah something malicious went on something malicious absolutely went on someone may have partnered up with the wrong person thinking that you know they knew the whole story but they didn't know the whole story for some of you you could have been left some type of inheritance and someone went out of their way to make sure that you didn't receive it um they either you know forced some type of document to take this inheritance from you or to sell it to someone else but it's not a legal sale there is something absolutely going on but you are going to be compensated for your work for your laws for something okay um there's king of swords here some of you need to be mindful this could be someone with ulterior motives that's coming towards you so they may want to come in and say hey we want to compensate you for your loss but this person wants to work with you and working with you means that means them taking control of whatever business it is whatever idea it is something it's that once it's that this person is going to be humble while they're trying to get you to sign some type of contract with them as far as a partnership in work but as soon as you sign that partnership with them then it's like the beast comes out so just be absolutely mindful if you are let's say an artist you are uh, you know working your way up nowadays actually i don't understand why people are even signing deals with record labels because honey you can grow your own platform grow your own audience so the whole notion of even signing a deal with a record label is foreign into this world. It's not like back in the days where those artists were limited and they had to do a whole lot just to get a deal or something like that. You don't have to do that anymore. Like build your own presence on social media. That's all you need, okay? But I'm just gonna use the artistry as an example. So let's say you are working your way up you know, um, and a record label approaches you and things like that. And this person, the head of this record label or some higher up in this record label approaches you and they're like, hey, we really enjoy your work. You're very talented. You're very gifted. We would like to work with you. And you you tell them, hey, I'm going to think about it. And they try to tell you, hey, I don't know how long you have to think about it, but it's a lot of people that will, that will uh, 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 die to have this deal. Um, and then, you know, they end up pressuring you into signing a deal with them, but they do it in a way where it seems like it's a favor for you. It's something that's in your benefit. Only for this person, as soon as you sign that dollar, dotted line, the monster within comes out. They're stealing from you. They're telling you, you have to go above and beyond to do this. If you have to, if you have to create six albums let's say you create those six albums and the albums are really good but they say oh no we don't want this one and this is to keep you in the contract as long as possible so they can get as much money from you as possible more money than they were supposed to get in the beginning so it's something like that where there's an ulterior motive for someone that's coming towards you um it's not as genuine as it's coming across there's something behind it okay someone is extremely obsessed with power i'm telling you you could be this queen of queen of wands someone is obsessed with power someone is obsessed with being very affluential being successful being wealthy and it's a masculine energy that is wealthy they have their eye on you they may act like they're doing the right thing by compensating you or something, but there is an ulterior motive to what they are doing. So just stay in awareness. Um, if you've been working on something by yourself and it's thriving, then I don't really see the point of you signing a record deal. And I'm just using that as an example. Okay, or if you do want to work with this person, you know, take time to get to know them. Do your research. Who is this person? You know, what is your success record from the past with other people? You don't want to be anyone's guinea pig where they've never worked with an artist before and then all of a sudden you're their first one and they take your money and disappear, okay? Or they steal your songs and then say it's theirs. You can't do nothing because you went and shared the song with them. I'm telling you. 
because you shared the song with them and now you can't do nothing because they have access to it. Okay? Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. You could have a Queen of Wands in here that is going through some type of change. Or this is you. If you end up supporting this person, working with them, you are going to go through some type of fall, some type of destruction, something like that. Okay? Some of you may have a woman that wants to come in or is coming in to speak the truth to you, maybe advocating for you. You may have said something that brought some type of secret to the light. You illuminated something and it, it caused a tower is what this is. I don't think you took any type of aggressive action, but you said something that exposed the truth about what has been going on and it brought a tower on your enemies behind the scenes, right? It may be pissing someone off that you know so much. Maybe they didn't think you knew a lot. Um, and this is leading to a fall from grace for a lot of people because these could be people that are walking around pretending to be something they're not, pre pretending to be diplomatic. And I always use this term, principle, people pretending to act on principle, but it's not principle. They do malicious things behind the scenes and they are afraid of being cut up and it's exactly what's going to happen if they don't fix what's, what they destroy or what they stole, something like that they are absolutely going to be exposed. So this is like a PR, that uh, a fixed, okay? And possibly maybe this is the best move to take is to fix it, uh, come to a, uh, uh, what did I say? I'm trying to say, uh, uh, um, oh my gosh. Someone wants to compromise with you is what I'm hearing. So you two coming or you all coming to a compromise, right? They're like, hey, we know we, what we did. I mean, they may not even say that because these are people with egos. Hey, we are wanting to give you this for your loss. Can we put this behind us? So there's really not going to be any type of genuine apologies. And you have to do the calculations. Are you winning by settling with them or are you losing? This is kind of what it is. But someone, you took some type of action as far as speaking your truth standing up for yourself maybe you showed up somewhere maybe you you know travel or were supposed to travel there's something you did that you were supposed to do by the direction of the most high and it's leading to your abundance coming in it's leading to your growth you have this ten of pentacles that's coming in so you're going to be absolutely successful this is something someone tried to steal from you you could have review in some way that you were not aware of any type of moves people were making on your behalf something of that nature and it's leading to something being brought back to you returned to you okay someone thought they were going to get away with this excuse me someone thought they were going to get away with it they could have been bribing people behind the scenes to block your work to interfere with your work to you know you, you tell someone <clears throat> if you tell a group of people to say the same thing, and if they're saying the same thing to one person, that one person is going to believe it. I don't care who you are. This is human nature. If you start hearing one thing over and over, you'll start believing it. Is it? Well, everyone is saying the same thing about this person, so it must be true. But someone didn't know that it was not true. Okay? Because they had so many people in their ear, and it led to them making the wrong move. Okay? So they may be coming in to talk to you to fix something, but there is an absolute ulterior motive, okay, behind this. Yeah, it's like if they do this, they're hoping that they can recover their image. They said they want to go back to being seen as diplomatic. They want to be seen as people that are tactful, people that do what's right. This is what they want to do. So their plan is to compensate you for your loss so that you can also recover your finances that you lost, however you lost it. 
okay so this is for compensating you so you can recover this was a whole family affair this was a whole family affair there's someone in here someone in here is like really stern or determined to block you even though people are trying to do the right thing someone is trying to still block you block your work right prevent you from moving forward someone does not understand how you keep moving forward even though they're doing all of these malicious things behind the scenes to block you they don't understand how you keep moving forward it said everything we we're doing has worked before why is it not working on this person why are they recovering from all of our trickery and blockages what is going on so some of these people even though they're trying to extend an offer to you they're still doing things behind the scenes someone is still doing something behind the scenes to block your work and maybe the other people don't know what this person is doing but they are absolutely doing something behind the scenes to block your work and they don't understand how you keep moving forward. I'm telling you, the court is involved. You see the King of Swords followed by the Seven of Wands. This is a legal case now. This is a legal case. And you're going to have victory for absolutely pushing forward. It's like, it's like you saw what people were doing, how they were doing underhanded things to block your work, block you. And you said, I'm still going to keep pushing forward. This was you trusting the most high. This was you trusting the most high to look out for you, to protect you in every way possible. And you decided not to take matters into your own hand. You left it to your ancestors to intervene on your behalf. And you know, the tower also has to do with governmental uh, organizations and things like this. So we have the King of Swords in here, which can have to do with someone who is in law enforcement and things like that. We have the Seven of Wands out here, which can have to do with a court case going on and then we have the the tower out here which can also have to do with like the police fbi dea cia something like that governmental official offices and things like that organizations so there's absolutely a court case going on and what was wronged is being righted so what was stolen from you what was blocked is being given to you so you're abundance your inheritance whatever it is is being returned to you this was a family affair um there could have been a couple in here that was you know advocating for people to do something to you there could have been a leader of an organization that misled people into doing something they weren't supposed to do it's almost as though something was left for someone and the leader of an organization decided that they didn't want you to have it so they started having people attack you from behind the scenes, right? And they did it so well, you wouldn't think that this man was part of it or this woman was part of it, but they were. It's like they're doing something. It's like they're destroying your life and stealing from you, but they're keeping their hand clean publicly because they're having everyone else do their dirty deeds. But they are aware of it. And you wouldn't assume that they know because when you see them, they come, of course, as friendly. They have this whole persona that they have about them. Um, and you just would never imagine that someone that successful, someone of that uh, stature will be involved in something like that. But this is all because of greed. Okay. But your work, you're still moving forward. You're still being protected. You have victory that's coming in. Someone thought they were going to steal from you. You know, you have your back turned. Some of these people not even some all of them were attacking you from behind the scenes they're like well she's not watching he's not watching let's go ahead and do this right and they assume that undercutting you betraying you and things like that from behind the scene was going to lead to a victory for them but it's not there's a court case going on this is legal now this is legal Yeah, this is legal. I'm telling you, someone is seeing things from a higher perspective. 
like someone is removing themselves from this situation be mindful someone coming in to give you some type of immature offer whatever that is there could be a feminine energy that wants to give you some type of immature friendship for some of you maybe she's interested in you in other ways but this is an immature offer you need to stand your ground against these people right removing yourself from, from this situation was the best thing ever advocating for yourself or using your voice appearing somewhere going somewhere was absolutely the best thing ever because what i'm hearing is that these people may have pretended like you were part of this manipulation that you knew what was going on let's say you are like with a company and they force your signature in some way let's say there's some type of drill going on and they have to account for everyone that's in the building so after the drill they have people sign some type of piece of paper um but the paper that they have you sign is blank whereas usually it's supposed to have like a form where there's like a brief instructions on how to fill it out and it has a title and things like that it's nothing like that it's a blank piece of paper they have you sign it with everyone else only for them to go and extract your signature from on there and put it on these documents and it makes it look legit so people when they see it they'll assume that you signed the document because it looks like your signature but it's not your signature someone could have even sat down to practice how you sign your name how you sign your signature and they may have forced your signature that way as well on different documents someone may have created some type of false document as well and they used that to present it to the courts that hey she signed this or he signed this so we can have this property we can have this uh inheritance but it's like no something is not right like the truth is being heard the truth is known now this is absolutely a gas lighter. I told you in the beginning that's coming towards you, okay? Someone wants to come in to offer you something, give you something, but they were absolutely part of this betrayal. It's like they, someone also knows that you are very much, in. you, you have a high sense of awareness. So this foolery they're coming in with, they already know. That you know the truth someone wants to help someone wants to extend a friendship to you hoping that you can help them in some way either remove them from these people separate them from these people heal or something like that because they know you are a healer so they want to extend some type of friendship to you so they may be advocating for you behind your behind the scenes behind your back just so they can come in and extend this friendship to you. It very well could just be a friendship. It's not that it's immature or insincere. Maybe it's starting up as a friendship. Someone thinks you can teach them something that they don't know. Okay. Uh, I'm telling you. <coughs> Someone is absolutely listening with this King Knight of Cups. The hanging man and the three of swords, someone knows you know the truth. So they know they cannot come in. They cannot come in to pretend to be something. To pretend like you don't know what's going on. To pretend like they don't know what's going on. Because when this person comes in, they're going to tell you what everybody else did. They're not going to tell you what they did. <clears throat> and they are heartbroken about this tower. This fall from grace. This revelation. Someone is absolutely heartbroken that you know the truth. These people didn't expect you to know the truth. They didn't expect you to know the truth. They didn't expect you to speak up. They didn't expect you to, to know this much. And they're heartbroken about that because something you said, something you've done has illuminated the truth. And they're heartbroken about that. You see the, t the tower and the three of swords, they're absolutely heartbroken about that. Someone was trying to force a victory for themselves. It's that they knew what they were stealing was not theirs, or they knew the things they were doing was not right. But someone is a narcissist in here, and they were absolutely determined to destroy you, to defeat you, block your victory, and things like that, but they cannot, because everything is being seen. 
someone's boss is gonna tell them you're costing me money or they already told this person they said hey you're costing me money and they're not saying it in their calm manner someone is either yelling at this person very upset they may be letting this person go from a job they said you are you're costing me money oh my gosh this has to stop something like that but this is someone yelling at whoever was orchestrating this in some of your cases you've cost me a lot of money you know businesses don't like to lose money and if it could have been avoided absolutely yeah If, if it could have been avoided, it, that's even worse. <clears throat> yeah, honey. <laughs> someone, someone is like, why is this over? It cannot be. Someone is like upset that this chapter is over. Is that why? No, no. That there's something we can do to prevent them from receiving this money, from them receiving this property. No, someone is upset. Someone wants you poor because they feel that this is an advantage they have over you, the fact that they have money. Then I said someone, something about someone having an ulterior motive is that they want to come in and compensate you so you can recover only to steal from you again. And all of this is being exposed. But someone is absolutely upset that this, whatever this is that has been going on is over. It is absolutely over. Someone is being exposed as a thief, someone that does malicious things, this is someone that does not come across as being this kind of person. If you meet this woman or this man, they seem very polite. This is someone that will smile with you, but they're very cold. Some people didn't expect this woman to be. A woman keeps coming up. This must be a woman. Someone did not expect this woman to be this. This is someone in the community where you said, we've never heard anything bad about her. We've never seen her do anything bad to someone. Lo and behold, the whole time this woman is a thief because she's good at working from behind the scenes. And she's been doing this for years. This is someone very hungry, money hungry, and she's losing a lot. She's losing a lot. Someone thought they were going to have a fresh start with your inheritance, with your money, but someone is falling from grace. This woman is going from this to this, from growth to ending. She's exposed. And someone has to defend themselves. Like they have questions they have to answer. Yeah, I'm telling you, this person, greedy. This is a greedy person. She has answers she needs to give, but they're asking her questions. Like we told you to give this information to this person, why didn't you give it to them? Someone was either giving a letter to give to you, someone was sent an email for them to give it to you, someone was giving some type of information for them to give it to you, but they didn't give it to you. Instead, they created some type of toxic environment for you where people were bullying you or something of that nature people were stalking you online people were probably showing up to your business to do stupid things people following you all around and things like that this is because of actions this person took behind the scenes someone may have told people your mental was not in the right that your mental was shaky shaky called you said that you were either retarded or something like that and people believe that someone went above and beyond. Someone who has stolen a position from another person and has been taken away from them. Someone has been living the good life at the detriment of another person. 
and it's being balanced out. I wouldn't be surprised if like the wheel of fortune fell out, but someone is absolutely falling from grace because the truth is being seen. They're upset that someone wants to advocate for you. I'm telling you. Someone is a calculated thief. A calculated thief. They've been stealing for years. People didn't know. They didn't know. But things are being balanced out. Is that, hey, this does not belong to you. This person didn't give you the authority to take this. If you are in competition with someone for a position, you didn't know about it because they hid the information from you. They didn't know that it would be brought out. You didn't know that you were supposed to respond to something. If communication was being sent to you, it was blocked. It was being interfered with. Your mail was stolen, some of you. It's just a lot of mess going on. And it was all to steal this Ace of Pentacles offer. But the justice system has uh, stepped up. Or this could be higher ups in this company that are choosing now to do the right thing. Because they don't want any problems. They don't want anything being exposed to the public about something someone did. Okay. Yeah. Wow. And it's like everything I said earlier is just being confirmed. Someone has ulterior motives or why they're coming towards you. They're going to make it seem like it's a fresh new beginning and things like that because they know how abundant you are, but this is a trap. They want to trap you. Someone wants to pay you some money so they can trap you in something. This offer, this blessing from the Most High, this is not something that's meant to be a trap. So someone is coming towards you with ulterior motives because they know how abundant you are, what's attached to your name, and this is someone with ulterior motives. This is someone toxic. This is someone that's obsessed with some type of power. Someone wants to be powerful, but the way they move is not something that powerful people do, true powerful people. This is someone that traps people. Or this is someone that's trapped into something. Someone did some type of malicious actions. They thought it was going to cause them victory and things like that. They, it was going to give them some type of advantage over you. But immediately it led to them trapping themselves in something. And they can't get out of it. Someone trapped themselves. They may be wanting you to help them get out of this trap. But they cannot. <clears throat> someone is going through some type of rule or awakening. Someone's desire for money has led them into something they cannot get out of. It's like they want to make a move, but they can't make a move. Yeah. Yeah, they don't know what to do. They don't know what to do. They're trapped. I also keep hearing that... They wanted to come in and trick you, but every plan they have is that you know. It's not easy to trick you. And that should let you know if someone is so determined to trick you, that's an alarm. That's alarming. That is alarming. That is absolutely alarming. <clears throat> You're not even with these people. You're not around them. You've removed yourself from the from the equation. <clears throat> You're like, I see what you people are. Let me be on my way. There's a masculine in here that is 
doing the right thing. Someone is going for it or taking action to bring something to your attention. This is things going in your favor. It's a couple of masculines in here. Trying to, it's not them, but there's one specific person wanting to bring balance into this situation without ulterior motives. Without ulterior motives. It's that they're coming to some type of realization. And it's crazy. I'm telling you. Yep. Absolutely. <clears throat> Someone knows not what was hidden before. Is that something was being hidden from this masculine before? Someone could have been tricking him. Someone who is either a high priestess or pretends to be a high priestess may have been misleading this person, but he knows the truth now and he's taking action to bring things into balance. So you can have your new beginning. Someone is aware of the truth. The courts, the court is aware of the truth. We have a lot of court cards out here as far as the justice system. We have the justice, the seven of wands, the king of swords, the tower. That's a lot having to do with the court system. So they are absolutely aware now of what took place. They know what took place. This person, Someone is disappointed in themselves because they took action against you before to, that, lead to, that led to some type of loss as well. This could be someone from your past. It does not have to be a romantic person. Someone you were friends with. Yeah, absolutely. Things are going in your favor. Whereas your enemy is going through some type of ending, you are having a brand new passionate beginning in life. Like your pathway is clear. Your ancestors, someone, your ancestors keep telling you to keep your mind on positive things. There's, they, they want you to listen to music, whatever kind of music you like listening to, they said to listen to more of it. If you're listening to a hardcore rap, they're saying to stop listening to that or Calm down on that. Try to explore other genres of music. But they want you to keep your mind on positive things. Whatever is going on is being taken care of is what I'm hearing. Like don't take matters into your own hand. And this is human nature. We tend to take things into our own hands when things are not moving as fast as we want them to. But they're saying do nothing. Everything is being taken care of. As far as taking any type of physical action, you're not being advised to do that right now. It's all being taken care of. Your enemies have dismantled themselves. You didn't have to do much. Whatever actions you took or whatever action you took was guided by spirit. But don't take any type of drastic action. Just keep pushing forward, standing your ground, speaking your truth, but don't go approaching anyone. When it's time for you to take any type of action of that magnitude, they will let you know. But right now, you need to stay calm. Stay where you are. <clears throat> It's like, excuse me, someone, someone believed that they had it all figured out. I'm going to put this down. Someone believed they had it all figured out. This could have been like a boss, a manager, someone that just didn't like you, a family member, whoever this is. They believed that they had it figured out. Someone was teaching people how to soften other people 
or someone else's energy, how to manipulate the people around them to believe something was true. Someone was a teacher. Someone was a teacher on how to play mind games with you collective and with the people around them because they needed a picture to stick. Someone is cold. This thief, this is a cold hearted person. And whatever action they took or they're planning to take to steal this Ace of Pentacles is going to trap them and it's going to expose the truth about them. Someone is being seen for exactly who they are or they are about to be seen for exactly who they are. They won't be able to fool anyone anymore. This is someone that is like a head of a community or is very prominent in a community and people have very high judgment of their character, but this is this person behind closed doors. This is this person behind closed doors, nothing but a thief that is calculating. This person plans everything. Nothing is just in. Eh. They plan everything. And they have been trying to steal a new beginning from someone by stealing this Ace of Pentacles, but it's leading to a trap for them. They've trapped themselves. They're being exposed. This could be someone that's into dark practices. And they may have been teaching this masculine how to do that. Is it, this is what you need to say to them, to him or to her. Just keep your cool when you say it, they'll believe you. Okay. Someone wanted to make you seem irrelevant as well. This is that you either work for a company. Let's say you are like really high up in the company and someone new gets higher and this person teaches them how to play mental games. Maybe this person was not aware, but initially when this person starts, they will try to make you seem, whoever this is will try to make you seem irrelevant. Like they'll talk about everyone else in the company, but you, and this is because of envy. And they know what's attached to your name. And this masculine thought he knew the truth so he went along with it, smearing your character, forging documents. Someone participated in something. And now the truth has been illuminated because something was said, something was done. And the truth has been illuminated and this person knows the truth now. And they're going through some type of ending themselves. And they are disappointed in the action they took against you. They said, why did I do that? Why didn't I just ask them if something was true? Someone knows that something that happened as well was not your fault. Something was blamed on you. It said, oh, she was the one that did that, or he was the one that did that. But they're finding out that it's not true. So everything being exposed and illuminated is bringing balance into this situation for you. But there has been quite a lot going on behind the scenes. Some of you are not aware of just how much is going on behind the scenes. I'm telling you, you kept pushing forward. I didn't even notice this. You kept focused on your work. You kept pushing forward and it's leading to a new beginning for you. In a way, this was a calculated move by your ancestors too. They wanted you to just stay focused, like just keep pushing forward. You're gonna be okay. Okay, you're going to be a-okay. There's a court case going on, some type of meeting going on about this Ace of Pentacles that someone did a lot to steal because they wanted to have victory over another person. Someone wanted you to be seen as dark. Someone wanted you to be seen as something or someone people should not want anything to do with, that you were dangerous, you were into black magic, you were into dark magic, but it's really the person that was smearing your character that is into black magic. So they told people you were them basically and they were you. It's like a reversion thing. Like I'm gonna to pretend to be you and you're going to pretend to be me. Okay. 
you may have a friend this woman i'm seeing her as a friend that you may have known in the past she, you extended some type of friendship to someone but they, they didn't honor the friendship someone did something behind the scenes they could be into black magic cause some type of illusion about you someone exploited your friendship with them so they were not genuine when you were around this person they would have seemed like they were genuine but they were not Someone was doing something behind the scenes, magic, or causing manipulation, deceiving people, making things look like what they were not. That's a form of magic too. Manipulation is a form of magic because you know what you're doing and there's a motive for why you are doing it and you are expecting a specific outcome. You're doing it, doing it through manipulation. That's dark energy. So it's a form of magic. Someone was manipulating, deceiving someone. She deceived this masculine about you. Someone deceived a masculine about you. They gave false advice to this person, which led to him taking some type of action against you. But now he's wanting to fix things. There's some type of alliance in here that is no more or it's about to be done. And this is between a man and a woman. It's about to be done. There's a couple that's over as well. They're losing a lot. Losing a lot of finances, losing a lot of friendship because something has been exposed about them. Okay. Yeah, things are going in your favor. Let's do our angel number. But I can I keep hearing someone just yelling, no, no, no. She can't have this. He can't have that. So we have 18, which adds up to nine. Yeah, completion. Something is done. Something is absolutely done. Something is done. It said you are both open-minded and open-hearted and your ambition is to leave this world better than you found it. Ensure that your goals are aligned with the collective need and with the highest good of all. I am, I am kind hearted. Okay, they put a P that's throwing me off. Um, but absolutely. Well, thank you for watching Collective. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye for now.